Hello, and welcome to the TI Precision Lab video on storage and handling of digital relative humidity sensors. In this video, we'll cover the different device package options, guidelines for storing TI humidity sensors, and some PCB assembly recommendations. Storing and handling humidity sensors is different from other ICs because all humidity sensors need to have the sensing element exposed in order to detect changes in the environment. This in turn causes different practices to be implemented when storing the device and during assembly of PCBs. Some fundamental things to understand are the different package options relative humidity sensors can be purchased in. There are bare packages that have no special covering over the open cavity. There are also open cavity packages where the sensor is placed on the bottom side of the die facing the PCB. While others have permanent sensor covers such as EPTFE, this protects the device for the life of the part or others have temporary sensor covers, such as Captain Tape, for safety during manufacturing. Each package provides different benefits for applications, but all need to be stored, handled, and populated on PCBs in very similar ways. Due to the open cavity style package that's required for humidity sensors, there are other common IC storage tendencies that need to be avoided when storing or transporting humidity sensors. The most important is to avoid storing humidity sensors in an anti-static polyethylene bag or foam. This material emits gases that can affect the sensor's output. Similarly, we advise to stay away from other adhesives inside the storage containers for the same reason. Regardless of the amount of time a humidity sensor needs to be stored, we recommend using metallized anti-static sealable bags as we have not seen these materials cause an adverse effect. It's also important to keep them in a controlled temperature and humidity environment in order to maintain polymer performance. TI offers a silicon user's guide that goes into more detail of the list of volatile organic compounds we know that affects our sensor, although it is not an exhaustive list. When these guidelines are not followed, we have seen shifts in the polymite as shown in the graph on the right. If this does occur, it's important to follow the baking or rehydration instructions in the datasheet of the device being used to return the relative humidity sensor output to normal. During assembly is another stage where traditional processes can harm an open package IC. Our recommendations for when to populate the humidity sensor on the PCP is dependent on the package type. If a bare package is being used for a product, it's important to populate this device after the boards have been washed or conformal coated. It's common practice to tape over the solder points of the PCB where the relative humidity sensor will be placed to prevent the connection points from being covered by any waterproofing material. If the humidity sensor must be populated prior to the boards being washed, we recommend using deionized water for this cleaning process. We have found that deionized water causes little to no effect on our polyamide. The recommendation is the same for a permanent filter option if the PCB needs to be conformally coated because the density of the coating material will prevent the sensor from being exposed to the environment. However, if boards only need to be washed, the humidity sensor can be populated prior to the cleaning. Since the permanent filter has a rating of IP67, no fluids will make contact with the polyamide. We still recommend washing with deionized water because the majority of gases that are volatile organic compounds are smaller than 100 nanometers and are able to pass through the filter. A package with capped on tape can be populated at any time in the assembly process. Since the tape is removed in the final stages of assembly, the tape will provide protection from chemicals used to wash the board and any conformal coating placed on the tape will be removed once the tape is taken off. Solder reflow is another aspect to be mindful of. Not all processes for soldering complement the performance of open cavity ICs. And for that reason, we recommend using no clean flux and no wash when populating our relative humidity sensor. For more guidance on chemical exposure, solder reflow, board placement, and fundamentals of humidity, these documents listed provide additional guidance on the individual topics. Thank you for watching this video about storage and handling recommendations for humidity sensors, and be sure to download this presentation for direct links to the resources mentioned. We also have more additional resources and product information at ti.com forward slash humidity.